checkup, they will never take your blood if it's risk for you. Their first priority is always the health and safety of the donor. They will take you through a series of tests, small tests, quick tests, but those will test to make sure that when you are donating, you will not get any negative impact from this donation. So okay. it's hundred percent safe. Just don't sit at home thinking that. Yeah, some people I, are worried and concerned exactly. about these things. And and, and 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 plus, it's a free medical checkup for you actually. When you are going there, you are getting a free medical checkup. Sure. So one should. Why not take advantage of that? Why not take advantage of that? Exactly. And uh, so, um, do you have these uh, blood donation camps or campaigns on? Like every two, three months, or how is it? Regular uh, basis, or how do you do this? Our group usually we conduct uh, one or two drives per year. So this is our frequency so far in last. And uh, usually you get a big number that come out. Uh, yeah, the maximum capacity of the blood bank is like to bleed two to three hundred people in a span of five to six hours. And you so get that number. Yeah, we, we 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 usually get that number. Okay, that's a good amount that come out for that. And but but one thing, ahead. but one thing we should be considering that, as per my knowledge, uh, the daily requirement of blood in Kuwait is around 300 bags or 300 units of blood. This is not a certified figure. This is my understanding what approximately. You know, yeah. So Not we need yeah. we need a lot of blood. The blood requirement is always there. So well, it's so nice that the Pakistani community here in Kuwait is uh, you know doing this, you know, helping out with uh, giving back to it's, it's, it's the society where they live in and work and so forth. So it's really nice, Amir, that you're doing that. Okay. It's our responsibility, Tariq. We are living in Kuwait. We are earning from Kuwait. So we should return something to Kuwait. At least by doing this, we can help. Uh, in medical infrastructure of Kuwait. We are taking a lot of advantages while while we are staying here. We are getting free medical, we are getting free checkups, free tests, even free surgeries. So, I mean, uh, we, we are really obliged. Kuwait is doing a, for us a lot of things. It's, it's our responsibility to return something, whatever is possible within our limited, uh, you know, circumstances, well, or limited resources. Really Pakistanis are some of the hardest working people here in Kuwait and uh, long friendship between Pakistan and uh, Kuwait, uh, Atif, uh, which goes back many decades of visits of heads of uh, states and dignitaries yes. and so forth. So uh, it's nice that the Pakistanis in Kuwait are doing such a great activities too. And you're going to be coming up, I think, in next year on a 10 year anniversary, correct? Yes. Any special you. event activity planned? Uh, yeah, we are planning to organize uh, in 2017 uh, a family entertainment show that will be in hall and we will show our culture there and uh, inshallah we will also introduce the our book at the same time. Uh, actually, uh, we have a hot issue of uh, visa ban because we want to um, uh, bring some families here out here in Kuwait and uh, some celebrities from Pakistan to Kuwait to to organize our shows, but unfortunately, this visa, uh, this visa ban has a problem. So, inshallah, I will request authorities to reconsider about it. And, and hopefully, with also the assistance of your embassy and yes. the fine work that everyone is doing, that these things can happen. Mm -hmm. As we're taking a look at some shots here, uh, Amir, tell us a little bit about this. I believe uh, these shots have been taken during our last blood donation drive where you can see, I mean, people from all walks of life, Pakistanis, so nice. uh, from all segments, educated, illiterate, white collar, blue collar, all are, even the females, you can see, uh, they joined us in the last blood donation drive and it was very overwhelming. Alhamdulillah, it was very successful drive. Alhamdulillah, it was a good event. Alhamdulillah, it was very, very yeah, good. Yeah, you, you also do very well uh, organizing these events. I know. You have a lot of people also on the social media following, correct? Uh, yeah, we have uh, uh, our main strength is on Facebook. We have uh, more than 10,000 followers on our Facebook oh, that's channel. That's great. Uh, and we uh, regularly provide awareness about the different aspects of blood donation on our social media channel. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we tell them from multiple angles, the advantages of blood donation for the patient, for the donor, uh, disadvantages of not donating blood, why one should be donating blood. We, we, we do our level best to bring maximum awareness to the people. And there's also very good experience and qualified, highly qualified 
Pakistani medical professionals here in Kuwait too. Exactly. Doing a great job. I'm sure they're also contributing and helping with you also. Exactly. Uh, I would like to name it. There is one organization, Pakistani Doctors in Kuwait. Uh, they are always very helpful. They always they have extended their maximum help to us. And whenever we need any advice or help from them, they are always there. In fact, not only them. Uh, uh, I would prefer not to take the names, but I mean, we have a lot of supporters, a lot of supporters, almost all organizations and all the Pakistanis, they support us. We get ample support from everyone. Whenever, uh, can you believe that once I remember there was a blood donation request for uh, like uh, three to four bags. Uh, blood bank was short that time in that particular group. We announced it and within three hours, 41 bags got donated. Great. And the, the, the relative of the patient, he called us, please stop these donations calls. I'm receiving a lot of donations calls. So, you know, so this is the kind of overwhelming response. This is what makes us feel proud about us. And it's known about the Pakistani people for their kind gestures like that too. And uh, highly appreciated, I'm sure, by everyone, especially at the blood bank and the people that you work with when in terms of Pakistanis in Kuwait. Such great yeah. things that are going on. But as we're coming this evening um, towards the end of our interview tonight right here on Hela Kuwait, uh, uh, Mr. Atif, any uh, last words or comments for the audience uh, watching the program tonight? Um, I would like to thank you, thanks audience watching us and uh, support us on this uh, noble causes, what we are doing here. And uh, do not take it negative, take it at positive. And because this is our second homeland and uh, we want to uh, live like we are living in our own country. Okay, great to hear that. And uh, Amir, at the end of our interview, any last words or comments for the audience watching the program tonight? Uh, yeah, Tariq, uh, I would like to invite everyone who is watching this program to come and join us on 13th of January for a blood donation drive which is specifically dedicated to thalassemia awareness. Uh, our slogan is blood owner should be a blood donor. Uh, remember there is always a constant need of blood donation. As per American Red Cross you can donate every 56 days. So keep donating, keep saving lives, keep spreading smile and join us on 13th of January at Coe Central Blood Bank. Thank you very much. Very well said and uh, we'd like to thank you gentlemen for being our guests this evening right here on Hala Kuwait. We wish you and all your colleagues and the Pakistani community here in the state of Kuwait all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you Thank you, gentlemen. And right now we're going to take a short break and then be back with some more of our segments. Stay tuned. We're back uh, right here on Hala Kuwait and uh, moving along with some more of our great reports that we have for you this evening right here on the program. We're going to go take a look at the engineering forum that recently concluded. Let's take a look at this forum and see what was discussed. Stay tuned.
Um, this is a conference about engineering and the opportunities for engineers in Kuwait. Um, I think it targets uh, mainly students, engineering students and recent graduates and what, what they should be focusing on and the opportunities that's going to be available for them in the near future and the projects that Kuwait is really focusing on for engineers. Um, we have uh, the Engineers Without Borders. Um, it's organized by the National Union for Kuwait Students from the UK. And um, I think the Ministry of Youth, if I'm not mistaken, with other companies as well that are helping with the sponsorship. It's very important for uh, engineers, uh, for newly graduated engineers, for engineering students, and even high school students who want to be engineers in the future. This helps in um, making you decide first which major you want to go into. Second, uh, after you graduate from engineering, uh, if you, whether you want to go to a private sector or a public sector, and uh, if you want to continue even your studies and get a scholarship, there are many options that were covered in the, in the conference itself. We're back uh, right here on the program. I hope everyone out there is enjoying uh, tonight's episode of Hala Kuwait and all that we've been bringing to you right here on tonight's episode. As usual, the camera crew have been very busy filming all around the state of Kuwait. And right now we're going to move on to another one of our fabulous reports and we're going to go take a look at the Bird Lovers International Group. Uh, that's a group of uh, bird lovers that meet right here in the state of Kuwait. So let's take a look at this report and take a look at all the variety and different kinds of birds that are on display. So let's take a look at this report. Stay tuned.
يعطيكم العافيه وياكم اخوك محمد الشمري من جروب عشاق الطيور الدولي. طبعا احنا اليوم متجمعين بحديقه العديليه مثل ما انتم شايفين وراي عندنا هذول البراعم البراعم هذول تحت التدريب قاعدين نباشرهم ونعلمهم شلون يربون طيورهم ويدربون طيورهم ونعلمهم شلون يتعاملون مع طيورهم ومثل ما انتم شايفين ورانا فقره تدريبيه حق طيورنا. هذولي طالع عمكم اللي هم براعم عشاق الطيور الدولي. طبعا احنا عندنا البراعم الصغار وعندنا الناس الكبار. فاحنا يا يعني الكبار الأهل الخبره واهل اللي عنده معرفه قويه بالطيور قاعدين ندرب عيالنا هذولي وقواكم الله. We're back uh, right here on Hela Kuwait. I hope you enjoyed that meeting of the Bird Lovers International Group, uh, meeting in different uh, areas, especially parks right here in the state of Kuwait. And with that, we pretty much come to the end of tonight's episode of the program. I hope you enjoyed all that we brought to you on tonight's episode of Hela Kuwait. Make sure to enjoy the rest of the reviewing tonight and all throughout the week right here on KTV2, the family channel. Before I leave you, remember to always take care of yourselves and each other, and let's always remember to respect one another. Have a nice evening. Good night for now. <laughs>